the reason I do the show is the seeing what other people can do with when you give them a hand. How can I help somebody else get to their goals? Oh, Robert, you're done. Oh, it's a Formula time. Ford. What I've always loved about the show is you've got five people and we've made it. We've made it and it motivates people. You're a nice young man. Yeah. Good job, buddy. You got your stuff together. That's what I it like. Is. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I think that is the basic human element in this show. <laughs> Good job, guys. We show people that you can do it. So you saw him as part of that series of clips. You will see him tonight as the host, Jim Tree Living. He is the lone original dragon. And he's been my guest many times. A good friend and good to see you tonight. Good to see you too. Ahead of tonight's big special. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Can Thank you, you believe it's 10 years? No, I can't believe it. It's gone by so quickly. And I think it's just one of the things that I, I look back and say, my gosh, I look at the first pitch in the, uh, first pitch in the last one. And my God, what a difference. It, it, and we're talking about all the differences in the next couple of minutes but 10 years for you as I said the the only original what keeps you hanging on I think it was the, the fun and the and the excitement of seeing the new pitches and the entrepreneurs right. that we've seen it's that's what really keeps me going and we've got kids on the show that I look at now and think my gosh they, they're so sharp so quick right now <laughs> and uh, I, and the kids I meet on the street they're unbelievable they they all want to see talk about Dragon's Den deals that I <laughs> shot maybe three or four years ago they see the reruns and I'm going what was that again you said and what <laughs> did I say so many there's well, so many. because you're the the original. Yes. You get the honor of hosting tonight's anniversary special, which you will see on CBC television tonight. And in the course of that special, you answer, you and your fellow dragons, some of the questions, many of the questions that I'd actually hope to talk to you about. So we'll kind of do it together with sure. some clips from Absolutely. the tape. The, I was wondering about why the show has been such a success for 10 years. Take a look at what you'll see tonight. I think there's one reason that the show has lasted as long as it has and will continue to last into the future. And it's a simple reason. Every Canadian and every person has the right to have a dream. And that will never change. It's not the kind of show that has a beginning and an end. There will always be a new product. There will always be entrepreneurs who want to be exposed and who want to make it. So there you go. Arlene, no longer with the show. Joe, who's of course with you now. Yep. Their thoughts on why the show's been a success. Yours. I think they've said it said it all. I think it's the people that want to come on and, and do something that they've dreamt about or thought about for a long time. And I think it, it, the other thing is that it's a business now. What used to be a dream when we first started the show was I got an idea. Now I got a business. And that's the difference. And that's what makes me excited about when I see, when I walk on here and see a young person or an older person that they've dreamt or thought about this, they've finally got it to a business level. And that's what we look at as the business level. That's interesting level. because they used to come in, you know, Kevin would always be always saying, you know, where are the numbers? Where's Show the me the numbers. numbers. Exactly. People know when they yeah. make their pitches to you that they've got to come. Well, they've with seen the, the show. And, I, and, and, and Heather, what's changed so drastically over the 10, you know, 10 years that we've been there is you look at the pitches when we first did it and now and they're getting younger and younger and younger. And now when I get stopped in the street or anywhere I go, it's the people 12, 14, 16 years old. Well, if they can do that, I can do it too, because I got an idea That's and I got it. That's so interesting. Has the nature of the idea changed? I don't think the ideas have changed. I think no. they've come something new all the time. There's a lot more technology now. A lot, more, te mm -hmm. a lot of more tech stuff coming. Uh, we're seeing apps. I didn't know anything about an app you could put in my finger. I think Apple was not even uh, out in a phone when we started this thing. You know, oh you started goodness. all the stuff that you talk about. BlackBerry was the big thing in, the, in those days. You know, everybody had a BlackBerry. What impact do you think it's had, apart from showing people there's a forum for their ideas, they can make them, they can make them concrete, they can realize them. What impact do you think it's well, had? Well, I think it's country? huge. I think uh, the Chamber of Commerce of Canada came to us about three years ago and said, you guys have set off a firestorm. What's happened, there's people coming to us now wanting to know how to get into business, where I can go into business, what do I have to do? And I think that's set it off across the country. It, it's just the people I talk to every day on the street. It doesn't matter where I'm at, from Vancouver all the way to, to Newfoundland. It's just unbelievable. These kids come up and the young people come up and business guy always pass me a card. I, I, have I, got, I got something for you. You got to look at this. So um, if I ask you how life has changed, I mean, you've just answered that question. Oh Obviously, you can't go anywhere. No. I mean, I've been out with you both CBC events and, and personally, and, and it's incredible. People recognize you all over the country. One of the greatest ones that I saw was last week or this past week. Uh, I was in uh, Winnipeg at the Winnipeg Jets game. David Foster, who has got 21 Emmys, well-known with every artist in the world right. he's worked with. And we get introduced on the big uh, jumbotron in Winnipeg. 
and I get a huge cheer. Twenty-eight, it was sixteen thousand people get up and go crazy. David looks at me and he said, "You don't sing, you don't dance, you don't do anything, and you got twenty. You're, you're cheering you, and I, I'm the guy with twenty-one Emmys." Isn't that amazing? But that's what Shows television has done. That's the what show. the show has done on your li on your life personally and your family's life as well. And you know, for your fellow dragons, those on the show now and those who have come and gone, yep. it's been similar. I know. And one of the things you're going to see tonight that's special about the anniversary show is a lot of the personal storytelling. You know, the the early audition yep. tape private photos of some of the oh, stuff yeah. that was going on behind the scenes. We know that Kevin's a great photographer, for example. Yeah. Here's a little bit of that tape to give you some flavor of this. It's a long road from 250 to 10 million. I, I, I'm just... I see that tape and I see one geeky looking weird dragon. Well, how would you characterize your style? What's your style of dealing with these people? I'm a wonderful guy. I mean, I start there. I'm Mr. Wonderful. I didn't know any of the dragons before I got in there for the audition. I never met them before. I hadn't heard of them. When I first got approached, uh, I said no, I didn't want to do it. In fact, I turned it down twice. The person who really convinced me to do it was my wife. She, she turned to me and she said, it's really good for branding. Besides, it probably won't last that long anyway. <laughs> well, she was right on one, but yeah. Sandy was wrong, 50, wrong on the 50, other. Fifty percent, she was right. Yeah, you absolutely. Know. But there's Kevin. There's Robert. Of course, yeah. they've gone on to Shark Tank yeah. in the United States. But they're their audition footage from all of those years ago before they had any idea of, of what this would be for their careers, what a launching pad. Yeah. So that's kind of fun. We're going to see some of the yeah, behind be the scenes things tonight. Yeah, some of the stuff you're going to see is What else? Be fun. Can you give, give us any Well, hints? I think there's a lot of stuff that we went behind the scenes. I think there's a couple of crazy stuff we'll do, and I don't want to break it okay, out right okay. now today, but we, you, you got to watch it because it'll be fun. It, it, they've done a great job. And I said that one of the greatest things that we've had in, in doing this is I don't, people, I don't think people appreciate as much they see us as dragons, but they don't. I, I, I said the crew that works behind the scenes with us yes. on this show has been unbelievable over the 10 years. I've never worked with more professional people in my life than the people that I had at CBC. And I think that the greatest thing that I say to them is they've done, they've made us look awful good. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, the stuff they picked up on, our no, emotions and everything else, and how we react to different deals. So, kudos to the people behind the scenes. Well, responsible for millions of viewers and I don't know how many awards over the years 10 great years of television yes. and on it goes yes. on it goes we're starting season 11 with you in about three yes with you okay another year okay so it'll be 11 years all year. right listen great to have you in and congratulations to you and everybody involved I know they're thank gonna be you. back you're tonight. a great lady for thanks me. a lot so, thank appreciate you. it if you want to look back with Jim and his fellow dragons you tune in to CBC television tonight that special program airs at 8 p.m. 8 30 in Newfoundland.